I still have the CYCX. I still have the applied loads of 400 and 500 pounds. But where it simplifies is I don't have to model this as BXBY, this pin reaction. I know that the force on this is going to be along the length of AB. So I can, uh, I'll assume that AB is in tension here. So this is going to make a four, a three, four, five triangle. And then I can say that this is the tension or the force in AB. So the benefit here is if I look at picture 1A, this is the only free body, free body diagram I would need to solve this problem for CX and CY. Because now in this picture, because I know that direction, there's only a total of three unknowns. So I could solve for all of them based on one free body diagram and then three equations to solve for CX, CY. In contrast, without assuming or without uh, identifying AB as a two-force member, we did this with two free body diagrams and six equations. Really, we could have done with that equations four and five if we were really uh, tricky. So at minimum, four equations we would need to solve it the way that we did do it, but two pictures. Both of them are correct, and the results are the same. This just gives us, uh, this would just be the magnitude of BX and BY uh, because we know what its direction is. And if we found, if we put BX and BY in polar form, we would find that the angle it makes would be, uh, it's, this is actually in compression this way, we find that it has to have that same angle 